We've introduced a lot of new symbols here in the abstract. Let's move over to our text editor and put these into context with some practical examples. Let's set ourselves a task of taking a string and breaking it down, first of all, into any words that we can find within the string. We're going to populate an array using the words that we find. Here's an arbitrary sentence that we're going to split down into all the words. Now, we could split our words a number of ways. We're going to populate the words array by using a regular expression to find each instance of the word pattern as we define it and use that as each element within the words array. Now, a word we could define as being anything that's separated by a space. We could simply say not a space as our character set. This character here meaning not and this space here being a literal space character bounded each side by the square brackets and then a plus quantifier. would also use the G modifier to let Perl know that we want to find every instance of the pattern and use these instances to populate the array. We can then use a for each loop to print out each instance that we find. Let's move over to our command line now and run the script. We've succeeded in breaking down our sentence into entities separated by spaces. However, there's a lot of entities in there that are not actually words. To begin with, we have a lot of numbers in there. And we're also including the punctuation. So we'll have to be more specific than saying a word is some merely something that doesn't contain a space. So let's define in the positive rather than in the negative. We could say that it can include only alphabetical characters. That will exclude spaces, numbers, commas, and full stops, which are the other characters that appear. We can also make this pattern case insensitive. That'll make sure that we pick up, for instance, the first word in the sentence. Now when we run our script, only the real words have been selected from the sentence. Everything else has been discarded.